Okay, so now we're going to do uh, what we call cutting on action, which means that we're going to look for moments where there's some sort of movement or action that we can go from one clip to the next on. And what that does is just creates a little bit more impact for that movement because our perspective uh, on the scene is changing. And it might not have to change dramatically, but just that bit of movement from one camera shot or camera angle to another can really add impact to that movement. And when we say action, we're not just talking about, you know, explosions and fly kicks uh, and things like that. Action can be really anything. Uh, and in this scene, we wouldn't say that it's full of action, but when you look closely, you can really start to see lots of movements and actions that we can attempt to cut on to try and have a bit more impact. So I think the first main action in this opening scene is probably this character looking up. So right now I've got her sort of looking up and sort of half a second before we see a, the other character entering. So to cut on action, what I'm gonna try and do is really sort of get it um, as part of that movement there of the eyes coming up. And look how that changes things. Almost instantly we see uh, what she's looking at, this character that she's seen come in. And if we keep looking a little bit further, I'm sure we'll find more you points of action. Time. So maybe here, as she sits down, could be a really good moment. Might just put a little incision there. And I'm going to use this clip and find roughly that point uh, where she's sitting down. And I might use that. So I think in this case, I'm gonna get rid of that little clip there. You can sort of see it starting to open right here. Let's find the case opening right there. Here I'm just going to find it, just simply opening that book is a nice little action to cut on. So again, let's see if we can match it in the next shot. And there it is. Let's have a look. And look, it's such a simple, subtle action that it adds a little bit of something by cutting on it. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with the closing of the book, I think. So maybe instead of changing the camera angle, I'm going to use this two shot or mid shot. So it'll feel like the camera is just coming in closer rather than shifting angle. Look for this point of action right as this book is sort of hitting the table and see how well we can match it up. The angle in the hand looks almost seamless. And again, I'm just going to look for a moment of action. Maybe this hand coming out. And we should see the action of it being picked up. All right, let's have a look and see how it's added a bit of something. You took your time. So what's the offer?
but as some kind of joke. Who else knows we're here? So have a go yourself at cutting on action. You don't have to cut on every point of action. And you might even find different points of action to cut on here as well. It could be the look of an eye, um, the opening of the case. It could be anything really. But have a go at it and see uh, how it impacts your scene.